Where's my tailgate step today? Now you don't have to use your stand? Uh, yeah, actually. Well, that's really handy for you. Yeah, it is. Thank you, Ford. Okay, that step is the best thing in the world. Dad, can you help me? People can call it a grandpa step if they want, but it's a genius. Okay, so we already had our first dilemma of the day. Nixon has had been so excited about his bike that he just keeps starting it all the time. And so he ran the battery dead. So when we got here, we went to start it and it wouldn't start. So I had to go over to this hill, run down and jump on it and start it up. But now it's running. go slow slow there you go you excited yeah what you gonna do today what we don't want to do is just when we're ready to go we don't want to just rev it all the way we just want to go a little bit tell them what happens if you yeah if you go all the way you're gonna go way too fast okay so I'm gonna set this up okay now rev it all the way for me all the way Ready? Okay, go ahead. Rev it. Huh? I'm not I'm not holding the bike up. You're holding it. There you go. Okay, rev it. There you go. Good job. Good job. Good job. You did it the first time. Good job. That was easy, huh? Okay, you ready to do it again? Okay, rev it. You gotta practice first. Yeah.
I know. It's, it's okay. Why, that's why we got you small bikes. You can learn. It takes practice. Good job, bud. You're doing good. That's why we got, look, see? That's why we got knee pads. You're good to go. See, you're good to go. So, what happened was you forgot to put your feet down. Oh. You? <laughs> You gotta put your feet down. <laughs> okay, now push down on that pedal, on that shifter lever. Kick it down. What's that? The shifter lever. Kick okay. it down. Good job, now you can start your bike. Okay, you get back on it. Okay, what I want you to practice is stopping and going, okay? All right, just stopping and going. You did a good job, dude. Hey, if you tip over, Are you scared? We're high, huh? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna lead the wife out of here, make sure she doesn't get lost or get stuck or something. But uh, as you guys can see, uh, <laughs> Nixon finally got to ride his bike today and he enjoyed it so much. He did so good. The kid's fearless. He just wanted to go up the giant hills like right away, but um, I wasn't gonna put the throttle limiter on, but I decided I needed to because uh, it, it's good. It's good to teach him that, give him a little bit of boundary. Because Nixon's the kind of kid that if I didn't give him the boundary, he probably would have just full throttled it and wadded up. So uh, he's he's really really fearless. So I kind of have to be careful with him but anyway kind of funny we bring the minivan in here but uh, it, it's really not that bad it's just kind of funny because everybody's like what's a minivan doing out here in the hills gotta hit the big hill a couple times there's like no tracks up here everybody must be scared impressed with his ability to ride for being the first time ever on a motorcycle dealing with a throttle you know a brake lever all that stuff he killed it he did a good job I couldn't ask for a better outcome for a first time you know uh, he is a little bit fearless which is kind of sketchy because 
couple times. He took off and just went wherever he wanted to go. But I'll kind of, <laughs> I'll show you guys where he went. It's kind of funny. Don't know if we got that on video or not, but if we did, it'll uh, it'll be funny to watch. So I told him, I said, hey. here on this you want to go up a hill so I said all right we'll go up this hill right here come up this go down this go up this and then when you get to the end here follow the road to the left and turn around but instead he's like oh no let's go this way another big hill so he went up here and like this this little TTR 50 is like 50% throttle then he decides he wanted to go down the hill so he goes right here and you can see it well that was his track back there then he goes down this super sandy section. And that little bike's pinned right here. I'm running over to him because I'm like, oh, he's going to fall over. And he goes, Dad, did you see me? Look at me go. <laughs> I'm like, keep going, dude. Keep going. And so he, he went all the way around this turn, which is super sandy. And then he went up here. And he rode the top here like this because he thought he was going to fall over. And then he decides to come straight back down. And he did this entire little turn track right here. And then he, he went around here and I told him I caught up with him right here. And I said, all right, go on top of the hill. He goes on top of the hill and he stops right here where his bike would be high centered, right here. And he tips over, <laughs> but man, he did such a good job. I'm so proud of that little kid. He killed it. He really killed it. So, uh, the boys were getting tired, the triplets, so we decided to uh, take them home, and I wanted to do one more, one more loop just around the area, and uh, kind of get a get a ride on my own for a second. This is therapeutic for me, so uh, this is what I do to kind of get away from everything else, except for my family. I don't want to get away from them ever, but you know. For all the worries in life, I can come out here and just rip around and not think twice about nothing. like this video and we'll see you in the next one